After my last video, I was asked if I'd do a show of the layout or a tour of the layout. Well, I think a lot of you have seen it, but there uh, you go again. Just to show you the full length, which is now approximately 30 foot by 8 foot. And as you can see, I've got four main tracks running around with a few sidings, but I haven't got enough sidings. And I think my next move is to uh, make some more room somehow. I'll take you down now, I'm just going to stop here. So I'll swing it round. Well, as you can see, you've got a canal over there. A little station here. Try and swing it down now without wobbling. As you can see there at the back, that's where I was stood taking that first shot. A little church there with a bus station, various things, a duck pond, a few shops. Police beacons, police cars, the lights flashing. Now I come round a level crossing. Now I'll have to take the camera further down now. I'll put the crossing and we'll pan down the track. Turns all in the way, by the way, there. I'll swing around now. You see I've got another small platform there on either side. Very difficult to pan this. And as you can see, down there we've got the engine sheds, few sidings, not enough. And then we'll go down to the bottom end, so I'll go underneath again, I've got to go it down, underneath. pan it down. I think this winter we're going to have a few changes. I'm going to do a higher level. In other words, where that level is across there, you can see. I'm going to bring out some board into there. I'll we'll probably run two tracks up the top. But it'll be a winter project. That. Now you can see the bottom end there with the tunnels. I'll just move the camera see. further down. This is the bottom end where there's tunnels. Two double tunnels of course. Divide it to the top there. You're not to, I can't move those trains. In fact this one, that one's one of my old ones. Not very good runners anyway. I'm gonna come round to where the station here is. Right, again we'll swing round. We have the three platforms. Which of course services each uh, in each line. I did a change last uh, last winter when I put new board at that far end. And unfortunately, there's nine millimetre board I put down. On this end, it's five millimetre. So there is a bit of a run down there. And so I want to literally take all this up now and start again. At this bottom end. I shall have two tracks on the outer and maybe as I say a shelf round and run two tracks up there. And I should hopefully then be able to get some more sidings up. That centre part's gonna have to come out. I'm getting too old now crawling underneath all the time. But there you have it. I've been asked a few times the tour of the layout. I hope that gives you a good idea. Five, six years ago all I had was two boards running down the centre of this loft so I put the floor in, the roof in, the sides in the lot and started with the railway. 
my static little 8 by 6 and as you can see it sort of took over and it grew and grew and grew there you go I'll show you this area here close up there we have it